So what you do? So tape put my arm. Excuse me, folks. Can I have your attention? Did you? I did it from the side. I don't do it from the front. Did you know that there's a deadly disease out there that is killing thousands of people each and every day? That's right, thousands of people each and every day. Now, before I tell you about this disease, let me ask you a question. What would you think of a person who had a cure for this disease and never gave it to anyone? You'd probably think this person was wicked and cruel because how could he have a cure for a disease and not want to give it to anybody? Well, my name is John, and the disease I would like to talk to you about is called sin. The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death, and the soul that sinneth will surely die. Now, before I tell you about the cure for this disease, let's go through uh, a little example to see if you have this disease or not. The Bible says that one day we're going to die, we're going to stand before God for judgment. The standard that God is going to judge us by is his moral law of the Ten Commandments. I'm sure everybody's familiar with that. One of his commandments says we shouldn't lie. Thou shalt not lie. If you ever told a lie, God sees you as a liar. Another one says thou shalt not steal. If you've ever taken anything, the value is irrelevant. Even if it was something small, God sees you as a thief. One more, he says that we shouldn't take the Lord thy God's name in vain. Maybe you got upset and angry and you used God's name as a curse word. Well, it's called blasphemy. So we've only went through a few commandments, and you can examine for yourself if you've ever broken any of those, those three. Keep in mind, there's still seven more pointed at you. Any of those ten commandments, you have this disease. And as I said before, the Bible says, for the wages of sin is death. The soul who sins will surely die. It says no one is good, not even one. We all sin and fall short of God's standard, his glory. So... With that, how do you intend on getting into heaven? Good works can't get you into the kingdom of heaven. Good works can't grant you eternal life. Good works cannot make you right with God because we're sinners who fall short of his glory. So that's the bad news. But the good news is we can get right with God. God did something so wonderful for us that we could be in a right relationship with him we could have forgiveness of sin, we could be granted eternal life, and be into the kingdom of heaven. What did he do so wonderful that could forgive us of our sin and make us right with him? 2,000 years ago, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe in him will not perish, but inherit eternal life life. Jesus said, he is the resurrection and the life, and he who believes in him, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Jesus said, he is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. No one comes to the Father but through him. Why? Because he is the sinless son of God who came with one purpose in mind, to come and take away the sins of the world. So you want to know what God's love is? Look at his son who died on the cross for your sins, for my sins, for the sins of the world. And we can have his forgiveness and be granted uh, uh, right with, being right with God and going to the kingdom of heaven. But you have to be willing to repent. If you don't want to repent and turn from your sin and put your trust in the Savior, well then on Judgment Day, you're not going to be able to go into heaven because you're not perfect. You have a deadly disease which is called sin. And the only cure for that disease is Jesus. The Bible clearly says, Jesus, who knew no sin, became sin for us, that we could become the righteousness of God. Without righteousness, you can't be right with God. Jesus went ahead and exchanged his perfect record for our imperfect record. He took our sinfulness and has given us his righteousness. But you can't partake of that righteousness unless you are willing to accept this message, turn from your sin, and put your trust in Jesus. Now, maybe you're saying, you know what? 
this guy's a fool, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But know this, the Bible says there is a way that seems right unto a man, but in the end, it results in death. Upon hearing this message, when you stand before God, you'll be without excuse. And there if is you're not no right God. God, you're not going to come into the kingdom. God will pour out his anger and his wrath on all sin. So, pray and ask God to grant you forgiveness. Repent of your sin. Put your trust in Christ. I just don't want you to be misled to think that you're going to heaven because you're a good person. Because that's not what this Bible says. It's a lie. Only way you can get to heaven is through Christ. He paid the way. If you think you're going on your own goodness, on judgment day, you're going to hear God say, depart from me. I never knew you. Depart from me. So my hope and my prayer is that you would make your peace with God. Do you know when you're going to die? You don't. Life is but a breath. We're here today, gone tomorrow, and then it's judgment time. One, to, one time when you die, you stand before God for judgment. Please, I care for you, and I want you to know what is true. If you reject it, on judgment day, God's going to reject you. Just know that. Thank you very much.